at DuckTales Episode 5. And I'm sorry I've been slacking on my Owl House and DuckTales reviews. And the reason why is uh, the end of the year came around, holidays, um, I had to catch up on reviews and stuff I wanted to make videos about and movies that I need to watch before I did my worst and best of 2020. And even then I still left some stuff off of this list. Um, so, and then I also had finals come around for school and other things. So I was trying to still make videos, but also do them in a way that I could still make them without it being an issue and getting away of other things. But now I've got everything situated. Now I can do that and get back to it. Um, so that's the good news. And I will be dropping another review today of another series I'm going to be reviewing. And then tomorrow I will get back to reviewing The Owl House. So we are in episode 5, which on Disney Plus is episode 10. That's the annoying thing about uh, Disney Plus is that uh, the DuckTales are out of order. I was watching them on Disney Plus and there were episodes I was watching and I was like... Well, that's a big cliffhanger and I clicked to play the next one and it wouldn't resolve the cliffhanger at all and it and I couldn't figure out which episode did resolve the cliffhanger until I looked it up online so uh, the terror of the terra Fermians. this episode shows uh, is about more of we see Webby and um, Lena I think it is uh, I keep forgetting her name um, they're kind of dynamic and how they but we also see Miss Beakley's distrust and where that could lead and kind of more hints at what this really could do uh f what, what her kind of plan is and kind of hints at what's going on with what is obviously magic a dispel but if you're not a DuckTales fan it doesn't ruin that at all and actually becomes a bigger surprise that's what I really liked about the show other shows would be like hey straight up we're dropping this character but this show's hinting at it and dropping it and so it makes it interesting for newer fans and then it also makes it interesting for older fans um so yeah i but this episode's kind of weak um compared to the last one right because the last one you know, a lot of people would probably say that one's the weaker one i think not because this is just a standard episode of a show and there isn't really enough humor uh, and there's humor in it, don't get me wrong, but not enough good humor to, like, bump it up, and it doesn't really show us that much of a large dynamic shift between these two characters, because this is the first time we're seeing these characters interact, and obviously they wouldn't trust each other, but, but it, it doesn't really bring it up enough throughout the episode to where I think it really, um, it's like, wow, that's a interesting character dynamic. And it's kind of like, you know, they were kind of going to get to trust each other by the episode, end of the episode. And as it is, it's a fine episode. And it flows right really well from the last episode to this episode really well. But it's kind of like, eh. So, yeah.